Hello everyone, I'm Corey Mitchell with TradeThatSwing.com and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to find stocks in play. That's basically stocks that are moving a lot either in the pre-market or after the open using TradingView. So I already have one that is starting to get set up here so let's go through the whole process. So let's just say you pull up a chart, uh, you will need a trading view subscription for this because if you're going to be getting real-time quotes you're going to want accurate information and you're going to be paying for uh, yeah a subscription like a data feed to the New York Stock Exchange NASDAQ things like that but assuming you have uh, a trading view account you're using the charts like this then you should be able to do this so I just have a, a chart pulled up here because it was actually one of the ones that came up on the scan and you can find the scanner, it's this little button down here. So you click the screener button and you can pull up different types of screeners. So we're gonna use the stock screener. And then you'll probably have some default one. I think the default one that was up was most capitalized. And then you can click create new screener. And this will allow you to input your own criteria in here. So I have some up here that I've opted to keep. Uh, but you can just click this button. So if you don't see, let's say, change, like I have change here, you can just click that little plus button, change, and that will be the price change percent. Uh, you can see I have a percent there. Uh, average volume, a good one to have. So you can just start typing average volume it comes up and so if you click on that let's go to manual setup it's going to give you some options so i have mine set just 10 days what's the average volume over the last 10 days above i want it above a value and 5 million i just put that in as kind of the minimum type of volume i would want to see uh, you would click apply uh, for this one price above or equal to eight dollars um, and you know you can put in whatever value if you want to trade higher price stocks you can do that if you want to trade lower price stocks you could put it between let's say you know a dollar and five dollars something like that or if you only want to trade between a hundred dollars and five hundred dollar stocks you could put it between that so i'll let you play around with that a little bit this one adr is average dollar range as a percent and i like this one because this is good for day trading because it does not include gaps so it's I, with this filter i am saying average day range is above four percent now that's gonna even if a stock's moving a lot today this is going to filter out any stocks that don't move a lot. Now, the reason I want to do that is because I like trading stocks that you know are making bigger percentage moves. I find it a more efficient use of my capital. If I, if I can put all my capital into, let's say, SPY and hold that trade for five minutes, I'm going to make 0.1%. If I put all my capital into something that moves... 2% or 3% in five minutes, I could potentially make much more on my capital. Now, not everyone's comfortable with that, so you're gonna trade, of course, what you're comfortable with, and you can adjust this accordingly. You might not wanna have it at all, and you can just click reset to remove, uh, clear the filter, or you could remove it totally. But ADR is saying, even if, let's say, Coke, you know, Coke is a pretty stable stock, not a real big mover, even if it's up 5% in the pre-market, don't show it to me because it doesn't move a lot generally during the day. You know, it might be fine for you, but for me, I'm saying don't show me anything. Don't show me any stocks that move less than 4% between the open and close on average. And that includes, you know, between the high and low of the day. So that's that's what this is. So it's basically just almost like a volatility filter that says only include stocks that generally move a fair amount each day. I've set it at 4%. Now, once we do this, 
we can click on a few different things. So if you're in the pre-market and you can, the, these were already set up. The, the custom one, I added a couple things, but performance extended hours were already here for me, so I didn't have to do anything. You can click on extended hours if you're in the pre-market. I'm recording this, it's around lunchtime, which is a time uh, I don't like trading. Actually, it's a little after, two Eastern. So not a bad time to be day trading, but we're definitely not in the pre-market anymore. But this is useful in the pre-market. So let's do that one first. So if you're in the pre-market and you wanna see what's moving, click on extended hours and you can see this, you'll be able to see this pre-market change. So we can basically see Galmed Pharmaceuticals was up 18.5% in the pre-market. And we can basically just kind of check this, if this was accurate. This is where it closed the day prior. And it opened right there. So, you know, my drawing might not be exactly accurate. But this is saying between the close yesterday and where it moved in the pre-market, and that will fluctuate but this is basically where it ended the pre-market, was up 18.5%. And while the market was moving around, we can go to settings, extended hours, save all this to make sure we can close it. Right, so while the pre-market was going on, that number would have been different, right? Because the close was here, it ended up opening around here, but here it would have been only up 15%. Here it would have been up, you know, 19%. Here it would have been up 16%, right? So that, that number would be constantly fluctuating throughout the morning. So you can see what's moving well in the pre-market. Vistra Corp, VST, we could also check out. And then so in the morning you can decide like, hey, is this something that's of interest to me? You can see it really start to take off uh, there early in the morning. So this is the open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And, you know, around 7.30, it starts moving up, you know, on, on light volume, of course, in the pre-market. But then you can decide, hey, is that something I want to maybe have on the radar for the day? So those, those were kind of the big ones that moved in the pre-market that met all these criteria. Then you can also click on performance. Uh, and you can see the change from the prior day. So that's one way you could also check out some stocks that are in play. So Vistra ended up, right now it's up 14%. So this stock's been in play pretty much all day. Uh, if we go back to extended, yeah, pre-market it was up 6%. Now it's up 14%. So it had a really nice uh, run throughout the day. So that's a stock in play. Uh, I added a few in the custom. So I like having change from open. And why I like that one is because it basically shows you since the open. So some people trade in the pre-market, some don't. Uh, the pre-market scan here can be useful for, I mean, if you trade in the pre-market, great. If you don't, it can alert you some, to some things that are on the move. But really what's interesting to me is once the day starts, that's when the volume tends to pick up and in most stocks and that's where you know kind of the, the real money uh, starts to come into play so the after the market percent move is what matters to most day traders because if you weren't up at this time it doesn't matter what the price did really you you couldn't capitalize on it so if vistra was up 13 uh what was vistra so vistra was up six 6% in the pre-market and now it's up 5% from the open. So, uh, or if we go to performance, it's up 13% on the whole day. So that's good. It moved in the pre-market, but it also has had, you know, a pretty good movement after the open as well. And that's what matters. GameStop moving 8% after the open. So if you're starting to trade at the open, this change, percent change from the open is what matters. That's what gives you your profit opportunity, essentially. Galmed Pharmaceuticals down 9% from the open. So lots of movement once the day began. So we can look at 
basically you're you're seeing a couple different ways you can look for stocks in play. You can look at the pre-market for maybe what's in play, and if you trade the pre-market, great, maybe you can trade some of those stocks. And if you start after the open, you can still look at the stocks that are moving well in the pre-market to maybe give you a short list of things that may continue moving. Most of those ones that were moving well in the pre-market continued to move well or have lots of movement during the day. Uh, or even if you just start at the open and you want to know, hey, what's moving after the open, you can use this list, just add. And how do you do that? You can add any type of thing you want. So if you type in change, you can see change from open. I like to use percentages because, you know, a one cent move on, or let's say a 10 cent move on a $1 stock, that's a big move, that's 10%. But a 10 cent move on a $100 stock is absolutely nothing. So I like to use percentages so that I can actually see what's moving big in percentage term. It basically kind of equalizes and normalizes uh, for any price stock. Uh, you can also see the pre-market percent change. And those are the ones that I've added in here to my custom. So through the morning, you can just kind of go through this. So in the pre-market, you'd, you'd, you'd be checking out these and saying, okay, this is, you know, we got some potential ones um, on the move. And then once the day starts, you know, you can kind of watch performance, just what's moving a lot from the prior close. But this is going to include gaps, which uh, isn't always as useful. And then change from open becomes probably the most important one once the day is going. So this is just an option if you want to find some potential stocks in play. You can see I also have recent earnings date up here. Uh, if you wanted to see stocks that basically have earnings coming out today, those would potentially be in play. Uh, you could throw that in there as well. You might want to get rid of, well, I'd probably keep most of these. I'd maybe get rid of the change um, if the earnings are coming out and they haven't come out yet, because if they do, they'll, you'll be able to see the change from open if it's had a big movement. And this is, again, just an option for finding some potential stocks in play. There is the option to, of course, you can trade the same stock every day if you want. I traded, uh, before Twitter, Twitter went private, I traded Twitter for a long time. That was the only stock I traded. and. Yeah, just get used to trading one stock. It had lots of movement. It was basically on this best day trading stocks list, and I just focused on it. So this best day trading stocks list is updated each week. You can go to stocks, best day trading stocks. It's updated each week, and it's basically a list of stocks that have very high daily movement as well as higher volume. And I have a couple different criteria. We have percentage movements, and then we also have dollar movement. These tend to be higher priced stocks with lots of volume and these tend to be a little bit lower price stocks with high percentage movement and high volume. So there's always the option to trade these stocks and just focus on them or you know an individual stock a lot of you trade uh, from talking with people they trade the leveraged you know biotech ETFs or uh, the QQQ or the leveraged QQQ or SPY or the leveraged SPYs. You know, that's totally fine if you want to trade those ETFs or an, uh, a stock every day. A lot of you trade NVIDIA, Apple, those types of ones. Totally fine. This is just another way to potentially trade and it's going to fit different personalities. Some people, you know, kind of like to do this little research in the morning and uh, hunt for those trades whereas others just want to focus on doing the same thing kind of every day uh, but this would all just be part of your process and this too would just become your normal routine of finding some stocks in play throwing them up on a chart you know setting it up to, you know you can watch multiple stocks at the same time and just that's a way you can potentially find some stocks in play. So hopefully you find that helpful. There is a link to TradingView in the section below where you can save a bit of money if you're looking for a subscription. And yeah, have a great day.